Howdy y'all, this is Red Wolf, and I want to talk to y'all a little bit about one of my favorite toys, the Kiapa M6 Survival Gun. Now this particular version is a 12 gauge 22 over and under uh, survival rifle. It does have double triggers, the back one's for the 22, the front's for the shotgun. Um, well, probably easier to show like that. It's got M1 carbine style sights with the fiber optic front on there. Really good. One of the um, selling points is that it folds up small enough to fit in a backpack. It does a really good job on that, especially a bigger trucking pack or something like a 40, 30, 45 liter on up from there. Um, the gun weighs about six pounds, uh, empty. Um, I'm probably about to take all these scope rails and stuff that I don't do anything with um, off of it and that'll probably take that down to about five and a quarter, five and a half. Um, one of its selling features is it has this polymer uh, stock with a skeletonized reinforcement on it and um, this allows it to float and since we can legally carry guns in boats and stuff like that at least in my state um this usually goes canoeing packing with me like that just safety thing if it hits the water it'll float like a bobber going down through there um let's see uh, it's got a tang safety it's really positive here it's pretty simple to do um all the screws on it are this i believe star pattern style uh, which means they shouldn't strip out, but it's an extra tool to carry. Um, the buttstock also has a spot for um, five 22 long rifles, or I think you can also get it in uh, 22 Magnum or 17 HMR. So these will be drilled out accordingly for that. And you've got your two shotgun shell slots. And this is a um, pull-out bottle. And this one from the factory has a cleaning kit in it. Um, you could also pull it out, put your survival kit, something like that in there. Uh, the barrels, uh, you can see I've got mine wrapped. Um, they come from the factory bear. And I've actually got um, two layers of bank line with a layer of paracord over it. So that I have some options for size and poundage and stuff like that. Um, it does come from the factory with the... Uh, spot to put your uh, sling through. There's one right here and the other one is on the side kind of like uh, um, kind of you know old school AK kind of stuff. Um, AK do that? I think the AK does has it on the side. Um, all in all it's a pretty good gun. Um, the gun is really accurate and the, or at least the 22 is. Um, really good way to practice um, running the sight pitch or stuff like that like i said and it's if you're not used to peep sights this is a gun i learned to shoot them on i guess the direction i'm trying to go with that you've got one shot you know you need it to count and it's real easy to see and it's it's it, it's accurate um you have a windage knob on the back right here and this is sliding this slides up and down so you can uh adjust for distance. I found that the two slot on here shoots perfectly for the distance I shoot. Um, the recoil with the 12 gauge is surprisingly mild. Um, this kicks less than the full size 20 gauge I learned to shoot single shot shotguns with. Um, your mileage may vary. Um, part of that is going to be this huge polymer foam buttstock really good shoulder weld as long as you grip it here and it's really thin right here so you can get a real good grip on it get a good grip pull it to your shoulder and the other problem the only real issue i've had is this is this huge chunk of bar stock it's thicker than this um right here and when i go to pull the front trigger which is the 12 gauge my fingers real snug against it and I had a buddy that had some um, handle wrapping tape from a tennis racket. And we put 10 inches a foot of that maybe right here. Just wrapped it until I ran out of space to put it. 
cut it off shoots like a dream absolutely no problems now um i think these are going somewhere in the like 450 to 650 range depending upon which um models you get um if you're looking for a survival gun um backpacking gun backup uh, any kind um i mean even a hunting gun it's really good it also has um remington rim chokes in here so it's an 18 and a half inch barrel with a choke super accurate and super adjustable i'm gonna get me some more of the uh extended so i don't have to have the uh choke tool sometime soon um might consider spray painting it or something to that you know getting a coating put on it a little bit because the whole stupid gun is blued steel so you got a lot of exposed parts it's a really good blue but it's still a lot of it to take care of and i'd be aware of that but um i think this is a gun i could depend on i've done some stuff with it and so far i've been entirely pleased so if you've been on the fence about it or just interested at all, if you got the money, I, I'd, I'd get one. It, it, it's nice. Um, hope you all enjoyed that. Until next time, this is Rebel signing off. Y'all keep up the good fight.